Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you should subscribe. I'm Alice. I can't even remember how long it's been since I last got my period. Up until last week, it had been several years. And last week, I, I woke up <laughs> with my period and um, I was actually freaking out because it's not, it wasn't like, this is so TMI, I'm sorry. It wasn't like a, like a real period. It was like my body preparing me for a real period, like getting rid of all of the... So as soon as I got my period, I booked myself a doctor's appointment. Since, since I got my period, it's evident that this is no longer working. Um, I've had a feeling it hasn't been working for a little while because my, my emotions have been a little, a little all over the place recently. Uh, like more than normal, I've been on a roller coaster. So <clears throat> I decided like, well, I got my period, it's even, and it's probably not working anymore. I'm going to get it taken out. I was planning on getting it taken out anyway, um, just because it's coming up to its time of expiry, I think. <laughs> between three and five years I've literally lost count like I've said so many numbers to different people and I'm just confusing myself and at this point I have no idea I have no idea I know it's been less than five years and I know it's been more than three I've been worried that I'm I'm affecting my body in a worse way than I thought like having endometriosis already means that my chances of ever having kids is is pretty low but on top of that not having my period for three to five years because of an implant just adds to the effect and I know that this is very different to to typically losing a period I can't remember the word for it um there is a word for it I can't remember what it's called but it's where like people who are underweight or sick or various things that lose their periods due to natural causes this is an unnatural this is a foreign object in my body due to unnatural causes aka not contraceptive like if you lost your period not because of a contraceptive that is extremely dangerous and that is very different to losing a period due to a contraceptive but i still have this internalized fear of just because i don't have a period means my chances are even lower um that is something i've very much driven into myself for a really long time and i know that that's not entirely accurate but it can be accurate. I, I'm I'm an extremely unlucky person. And so I, I've learned to keep my glass half empty. Because if I have it half full, something bad happens, I'm going to be torn down harder than I would if I had already been down on it. Does that make sense? Um, I'm a pessimist by nature. I, I try to be optimistic a lot of the time. I try to manifest things and I feel like I manifested this because months ago I was talking about how one day I want kids and maybe I should prepare my body for that and get off my contraceptive and get a period back and fix my body um, and fix my relationship with my body because over the last three to five years I, I've not been happy with myself and I'm not sure that has anything to do with my period but a lot of the time I don't feel like I am woman enough. And my hormones are always all over the place. I can't keep my myself stable and I have such a bad relationship with my body. Like like my body is like a like a stick. And normally I'm fine with that. Sometimes I really love myself, I really love my body, and I'm like, you know what, you're fine. I accept you, you know. I, I don't do the whole I love myself, I, I'm happy with my body, I'm beautiful as I am. I say, okay, here's my mirror, like literally right here. Hey, you know what? You're not doing the best right now. But you look fire and and i accept you just as is you are you are perfect just the way you are because you were you thank you me <laughs> oh you yeah you can see the scar actually you can see the lines in it too um there there are two rods right in there and i'm gonna get them removed today and i'm freaking out <laughs> But because I documented this prior to this video, I thought I would document this part of the video, like this part of my process. I'm going to let you know that this video will be graphic. This video is going to contain potentially blood, there will be needles, there will be a scalpel. If you are a sensitive person to any of these sorts of things, 
please do not continue to watch because this is going to be a very graphic video. I'm going to show the whole process. I'm getting my mum to film, getting this taken out. So when we removed the Jadel, if you remember four and a half years ago, you know, the inserting the Jadel is really easy and we'll, we'll make sure that we'll numb you properly but um usually in terms of procedure itself inserting the jadel we just make a wee cut and put boom boom that's it removing it can be actually a bit more tricky because okay. it's been sitting there for a while it's been sort of surrounded by some scarring tissues and and they are quite slippery when we, um so when we try to sort of grab it it's quite slippery sort of runs away from you so it can take quite some time um compared to compared to when you put one in oh, so yeah so all you need to do is just you know relax in the bed and just you know put your arm out and just think about your next holiday that's all you need to do okay um okay i'm just going to put this keeping faces out of it my first for me yeah <laughs> you don't care yeah i'm making my love <laughs> there we go okay I need to repeat the rest. And I'm looking right up your nostrils. Awesome. This is the only painful part for you. Okay. Hopefully. Bit of a scratch and a sting. Okay. Mm. Right. And there, now I'm looking out the window. Big deep breath, darling. Scratch and sting. Well done, you. Doing really well. Give you plenty of it. Well done, honey. You'll start numbing up pretty quickly, okay? You good, Mum? I'm good. Don't faint on me. I'm not. That's way too close on my face, isn't it? Want coffee after this? I can't feel anything, so I'm good. Good, it's good. Yeah, it's doing good really well. Yeah, and you it's are. nearly out. It's just a slippery. It's always the case. It's okay. It's always helpful when it's sort of yeah, nicely superficially sitting, so it's easy to see. So there's some scarring tissue that we just need to. And try not to shake. Perfect. One's out. Just try to show oh, the wow. camera. Yeah.
so this is just that pressure one I'm putting on over the top okay I can't feel anything from my wrist down, which is kind of cool. It was really easy. It was way less time than I expected. It was less painful than I expected. I always hype myself up for these things and they always end up being fine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, share this link on Facebook, Twitter, all of your social medias because I, I feel like you're going to know someone who is going through this or has endometriosis or bad periods and is looking at contraception to help. So do your part in educating people by sharing the link. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.